everyone. I am Dr. Neeta Kejriwal. I am senior consultant in the department of pediatrics at Manipal Hospital. Parents, today I would be talking about hyperreactive airway disease. Why I am talking about this? Because in the last one month when suddenly there was, you know, school, children started going to school and we started, uh, you know, getting into the normal life. We have seen a lot of children presenting with this hyperreactive airway disease with breathing difficulty in respiratory distress in our emergency. So what is this hyperreactive airway disease? This means that your child's respiratory passages, whether upper nasal mucosa ho, or your, the, you know, the pharynx, the larynx, or the windpipe, or your respiratory tract, lower respiratory tract, is hypersensitive to the environmental antigens, to the pollutants, to some pollens, or rarely to some food elements. So what happens when the, your uh, child's respiratory passages are hyperreactive to these, they, there is a spasm. They react to this and they present with cough, repeated episodes of cough, cold, breathing difficulty. Breathing difficulty means they cannot speak, they cannot talk, they can, can't breathe, they cannot sleep well or they can't you know, eat, they just keep vomiting. So when your child has such symptoms, what you should be doing? First thing is most of the time this hyperreactive airway disease, whatever the name we give, hyperreactive airway disease or bronchial asthma or allergic bronchitis, especially when there is a family, family history also of this uh, allergic symptoms. So what we need to do is one thing is uh, just do not give courses of antibiotics to your children. Do not just keep giving some cough syrups, they will not, most of the time they will not provide any relief. and. It is better that you get your child checked, make a diagnosis and the therapy which we give, we give there are two types of treatment. One is rescue treatment, acute illness ka, and one is for prevention of this. So uh, we give nebulizations which is mostly with levolin or asthalin which depending on the symptoms uh, we give uh, frequency is less or more depending on the symptoms we give home treatment or we admit the child if there is respiratory distress if the oxygen of your child is not good so this is the levolin and asthalin nebulization or in the form of inhalation that is given to treat the acute attack to uh, relieve your child of symptoms and then there is a preventive treatment which we give like budicot some steroid nebulization like budicot or foracot so these nebulation we give it for a longer period if this uh, if it is seasonal in your child we give it during that season if it is throughout the year we give it for a longer time so you get diagnosed, start this treatment. What happens most of the time we see that when your child is having such symptoms, you do not realize and or we do not give the right treatment. We keep giving cup syrups or you give nebulizations with budicot or foracot, which is a preventer, which will not help in the acute resolving the acute symptom of the children. So when there are acute symptoms, give this bronchodilators as levolin or asthalin, bring the child early, let us diagnose and start the treatment. We want to start the treatment early and we want to, you know, it to get diagnosed and give correct treatment so that we do not want that your child develops respiratory distress and land up in ICU. So it's very important we, you diagnose and you understand the treatment and you follow the advice of your doctor to treat your child and not give unnecessary treatment which will not help the child or which will harm the child. Thank you.